real Supra. All right, y'all, we have made it to South OC. Susie is here. And this is gonna be her last show with the yam on her face. So uh, enjoy it now while we can, while she's still here. We gotta show her off one last time, but it is also a really good turnout. We're early and it's already packed out. And I've already seen some good JDM gems that you know we're gonna get to. It's a three four we were cruising with on the on the little street back there. He's got the BBs on there, the Nismo C covers, Nismo gauges. Oh, somebody's got money. He's got some big money parts on this car. It's crazy, cause like so we got one of these at home. Yeah, you got the little brother at home. Yeah, no, we got the older brother. One day we'll have one of these. This thing, they got the BB brothers. This thing is sick. If y'all want to know what my ideal GTR is, it's this right here. Silver 34. Only thing I would change, the only thing I would change is the wheels. And not because I don't like the wheels, I would just change the color. I'd probably go white. Thing is crazy because we were, we were here maybe a few months ago drooling over GTRs and talking about how much we want one. Now we have one. We have one of those at home. I need to get these brakes on mine. I would say the, the worst part of mine is the brakes. Them brakes are cooked, bro. I don't even think I got pad left on those. It's just metal to metal. No rust? Nope. Oi. I wish. Just dust, that's all. Just <laughs> dust. That's all. That's all. That strut tower bar, though. Yeah, so that's from Mines. So we got some. Huh? Who signed it? Uh, so uh, DK, Drift King, uh, uh, Kai Kaichi Suchia. Yeah. So he signed it there, and then the mine CEO signed it there. That's blessed. Yeah, we got a lot of work to do on Skyla. Huh? For a year? Uh, this is probably a 98. We got one right here with the fat meat of thin. Let's see what's under the hood. Figured. Sick ass Turbski. Uh, maturing is realizing I'd rather have an Evo than a Mark IV Supra. I think they're always gonna I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna just leave it there. Super clean FD. This motherfucker look mint, boy. Damn. One of these, I wouldn't mind one of these either. See, this is why we just need to be rich. So I need y'all to keep hitting that like button and watch to the end, bro. When y'all click off of the video, it hurts the video. You know what I'm saying? I don't know about these other YouTubers, I'm gonna keep it real. If you click on a video and you click off, it hurts the video, you know what I'm saying? So y'all do me a favor and just keep watching to the end, fall asleep to it, do what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Help, help your boy out. So I keep bringing y'all content, not like this. Y'all, this, this is my retirement car. When I'm like, I don't know how old, 65, 70 retired, you're gonna see me in a GT3 RS. This color with the white wheels, y'all know I love white wheels. White wheels on the GTR are coming soon, by the way. We're gonna get those powder coated. So y'all, this, this is end game for me. Yeah, we got it. He still has a stock radiator? Okay. Oil filter relocation, I don't know. That's the first thing I need to do. Cause I don't even know how we gonna change the oil today. We got a yellow cage or are these reupholstered? He got fancy on them. With the carbon back seat? Damn. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. I love an R32 in black. Does he have his original badge too and it's in perfect condition? Damn. Our agenda is to change the oil, raise the suspension, and uh, maybe do some coupler replacements because they're all dry rotted to shit. Maybe one day we'll have a GTR to this level. We got a good ass lineup right here. Like the fitment on that Supi and the RX-7 though. Are they gonna start the whips? chili ball yes sir beautiful bro bro I look you would take an evil in black if I can find one in silver, that'd be ideal. But a black one, I can't tell by the by the back what year it is. 
Mmm, mm, I like that. You like that? I like that. What did it taste like? Bro, if you don't get in the house. We don't need even need to touch the front. I like how the front sit. Bro, this this thing was slammed. It, it, we had this much clearance from the ground, from the exhaust. I don't know how I don't have an exhaust leak. So this is what this side looks like. And it's just slightly off. So we're gonna adjust the rear according to the front. So whichever one is better with the front, we're just gonna match it to that. All right, y'all, this is how the car is gonna sit. Much better much much better than before and now we're gonna go ahead and knock out an oil change um because i haven't changed the oil since i got the car the guy said he did it when i bought it and i haven't driven it much but it's always good to just change your own oil and know for sure Finally broke it loose. See if he actually changed the oil. Cause if this shit is like- He said he did it before. He, he said he did it before he sold it to me and I've probably driven this car what? The way home in here, so maybe like- A thousand miles? A thousand miles? Yeah, give it a second. Yeah, don't drop it. <laughs> cool it comes out. <laughs> cool it, it's <laughs> milky. <laughs> nice. Ugh, it looks- Dark black. Yeah, that's no bueno. But he hasn't touched one tool since he got here. That's yeah, facts. I, I passed it to Phillips Ted. That don't count. Did you use it? Yeah, I touch a tool though. But All did right, you use the that. tool? Anyways, look, D did some searching, some grabbing, and this red wire I was talking about. We have no idea why it was here, what it was here for. Most likely a system, but it was hideous. It's ugly, and it's out of the car now. Thank God. Now D can have it. This is actually working. <laughs> it's a fat ass Bro, thing. I've been wanting that sticker off for so long, y'all. And it, bro, what? Bro, this is DJ's idea, bro. <laughs> this was DJ's <laughs> idea. There's, oh, there are holes. One, two, three. So somebody had like a tack, a yeah. tachometer mounted here. So this car had to have been modified then. Yeah. Or it's one of those fucking- Or some freaking like, ricer. Or some crazy but honestly gosh. those holes aren't so that cool. noticeable that shit was so cool. yeah it's not it's not bro how do we just do that so easy <laughs> somebody had a fat ass gauge probably <laughs> yeah. showing tire pressure or something <laughs> the hard part is getting the oil filter out because there's so much stuff in the way of the oil filter the oil filter on this car um so you just you just kind of got to maneuver your hand in there and this is, is it is this is it on there too tight no i'm just trying to get the rag underneath it oh, okay hey guys <laughs> i hit my head the rag is still not under Buddy, the filter somebody used a torque wrench on this shit <laughs> you're not trying to take it off you're just trying to it, put it uh, under the filter put this underneath the, you see the uh, front <laughs> dish is right there i don't see shit with that on top please don't tell me what to buddy trying to unscrew the filter already like finna bl blow the whole mission I haven't seen the gauge in, in the car yet. Hey, let me get the real steering wheel. Oh, yeah, swap that real quick. Ooh. Yeah, 
we have resulted to taking the battery out nissan i don't know why you put the oil filter in such a dumb spot it's so hard whoever did the oil change on this car last put the filter on like overly tight for no reason for the freshie did we spill any yeah we spilled some that's um, all right not as much as we could have spilled though like, yeah i think we managed to do a pretty good job considering the circumstances but we got a freshie this one's gonna go in finally got the filter off and on that blue thing down there is brand new oem that thing barely even fit in there either so i don't i don't know who designed that or you know what i'm saying but we, we got to fix that asap this is the oil of choice that i'm going with and it's now going in the car i'm overdoing an oil change on this car we need that sponsorship liquid molly yeah i need this you know what i'm saying i only run liquid molly in all my cars i'm not doing that fancy backwards pour shit i'm just pouring it regular what's the backwards pour where they pour it upside down Mm -hmm. like the other way like if it was if that so was it on the doesn't top. do that yeah so it doesn't so it doesn't do that yeah bubble oh you we get it bro you're trying to get your money's worth <laughs> done done oh wait we gotta do the battery one eye up top one eye on the bottom got it first gear thank you Check the oil pressure. Hopefully everything is good to go. My, my coupler blew off again. <laughs> I should have brought the tool. 